The strength of the enemy rests in large part on the output of his mines. Today, the Axis operates thousands of mines vital to war production. Coal and iron, copper and lead, bauxite, chromite, tin, zinc, mercury, and other minerals. These mines can be destroyed. First, acquaint yourself with the various methods of mining. In open pit mines, the raw material is close to the surface. The loose, shallow earth is stripped off and the ore is mined from above. In highly mechanized mines, like the Japanese workings in North China and southern Manchuria, well drills sink deep holes into the rock. These are then filled with explosive charges and set off, blasting the ore away from the earth. Giant shovels are brought to the working places and the broken ore is loaded into rail cars. The processing plant may be many miles from the mine itself, making transportation very important. Where cars and locomotives are used for hauling, wrecks and derailments can be made to happen. However, the tracks at an open pit mine are built so that they can be quickly moved to new working places. Therefore, wrecks and derailments must be repeated often to create a serious bottleneck. Huge trucks are also used for hauling. You can get at these easily and destroy them by dropping a firefly into the gas tank. In the more modern workings, you will find electrically operated shovels. The vital spot here is the control box. An explosive placed in here will wreck this machine for many weeks. Even a heavy blow at the control box or pulling the wires apart will do a lot of damage. In a steam or a diesel excavator, you must knock out the engine. Today, the heavy equipment used in open pit mining is difficult if not impossible to replace. By destroying it, you can shut down these mines. Where coal and ore are found deep in the earth, underground mining is required. To plan our attack, let's see how a mine works. These underground mines run to many levels and cover vast areas beneath the surface, forming a complex and highly mechanized industrial unit. We find that the only entrance is through a shaft. The first obvious target is the complex underground railway system. Working areas must be constantly tested for the presence of highly explosive gases. Specially constructed power-driven tools are used throughout the mine. Today, this heavy equipment is impossible to replace. Large quantities of blasting powder are always on hand. Blasting may open up new pockets of methane gas and in a coal mine raise clouds of coal dust. Both are explosive and inflammable. Electric coal loaders are controlled by a system of clutches which can easily get out of commission. The raw material must be hauled from all points in the mine to a central switching point where it is raised through the shaft to the surface. More machinery to sort and screen. 
These huge tables are driven by custom-built camshafts, which require careful lubrication. This steady flow of raw materials can be stopped before it ever reaches a Nazi freight car. Plan your attack carefully. Remember that mines are constantly in danger of disaster from natural hazards. Take advantage of these hazards. Your tools may be simple. An incendiary pencil. A block of TNT. A wrench, blasting powder. The miners themselves have a fierce opposition to enemy control and will help you. Use them. An enemy mine can be completely destroyed by a blow at certain vital spots. The powerhouse, the shaft. the transportation system, the drainage pumps, the ventilation system, the powerhouse is easily located on the surface. An engineer is on duty night and day. Be prepared to deal with him. Your target here is the generators. In 10 minutes, this mine will be without power. Where mines use a steam plant to generate their own power, your target is the boiler. A simple and effective weapon can be made by disguising plastic explosive to look like coal. Insert a detonating cap into the plastic and drop it into the fuel pile. Power is fed into the mine by heavy copper cables leading from the powerhouse through conduits into the ground. You can cut these lines by lowering a block of TNT set with a time delay into the conduit. It will take weeks to replace these feed lines. The cages that travel in the shaft are controlled from the hoist house on the surface. These great hoist machines and drums are custom built 
Today, they're almost irreplaceable. Open the gearbox. Thrust into it whatever metal object comes to hand, a spike, a wrench, an iron bar. With the first turn of the wheels, the gears of the hoist machine will be stripped beyond repair. Probably the most powerful weapon you can get to destroy the shaft itself is the mine's own explosives truck. The day's supply is taken underground on schedule each morning before the first shift comes on. Place a block of TNT into the car next to the boxes of explosives. Then close the door of the truck. Set your time delay for not more than 10 minutes just giving it time to get to the bottom of the shaft. Tying up the haulage system can be very simple. Poor visibility and split-second scheduling cause frequent derailments and head-on collisions. Take advantage of this natural hazard. Wait for just the right moment, and then foul an important switching point. Now take care to turn the traffic light back to its normal position. Simply trip the automatic signal changer. The oncoming trains will do the rest. To get fresh air and to get rid of explosive gases, huge fans must be kept running 24 hours a day. If these are stopped in deep and gassy mines, the mine is immediately idle. Place a prepared plastic on the fan motor near the belt. Connect this with another big charge on the fan housing itself. If the mine is not gassy, utilize the draft from these huge fans to spread a fire Place oil-soaked rags in and around all heavy timbering. Then set an incendiary into the rags. A fire started here will spread throughout the mine in a few seconds. The burning timber supports give way and cause cave-ins throughout the mine. Underground fires of this size are impossible to combat. Result, a useless Axis mine. Certain mines must be continuously pumped free of water. These are the mines to destroy by flood. Plan to attack just after a heavy rainfall, when the ground is saturated with natural seepage. The water is drained off into pits and pumped into a main sump well. The heart of this system is the pump itself. Expect 
that it will be carefully guarded. First, a charge on the pump housing. At the same time, several charges are placed around the retaining walls of the sump wells. They should be all timed to explode together. flooded mine is an abandoned mine. Each idle mine is a blow at the heart of the axis. 